Welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop, the weekly show that lets you know the hottest games coming out across all of the consoles and PC, new gen, old gen, whatever you play games on, there's probably a pretty sweet game coming out this week for it. Now after last week's big focus on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, Nintendo is back in the spotlight with Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity coming out this week. We have plenty of other games to mention as well, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. See Hyrule 100 years before the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and experience the events of the Great Calamity. Join the struggle that brought Hyrule to its knees. Learn more about Zelda, the Four Champions, the King of Hyrule, and more through dramatic cutscenes as they try to save the kingdom from Calamity. The Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity game is the only way to see firsthand what happened 100 years ago. Battle hordes of Hyrule's most formidable foes. From barbaric bokoblins to towering lynels, menacing monsters have emerged in droves. In addition to Link and Zelda, take control of characters like the Four Champions and a young Impa as they must use their distinct abilities to carve through hundreds of enemies and save Hyrule from the impending calamity. This is ultimately the fourth Hyrule Warriors game, but in a way it's also just the second. Bear with me. Hyrule Warriors originally came to the Wii, then that was ported to the Wii U with the Definitive Edition, and then you saw Hyrule Warriors Legends on the Nintendo 3DS, which was kind of a pared back version of that game. So there are three out there. Now this is the fourth, but also again, kind of just a direct sequel, uh, but this is actually a prequel to Breath of the Wild when it comes to its story. Are you following me? Ultimately, this is giving you a look at the beginning of The Great Calamity, which gives you the prequel to Breath of the Wild for those that are interested in the lore. Uh, now, if you're looking for a Breath of the Wild-esque gameplay experience, this is not that. Breath of the Wild 2 is currently in development, but this actually has gameplay more akin to Dynasty Warriors, hence the name Hyrule Warriors. So this is basically a group hack and slash combat game. Now, that's not to be a dig. This is just a different style of game, but if you are a big fan of Hyrule Warriors or you want to learn more about the lore behind Breath of the Wild firsthand, then you can check out what happened 100 years before Breath of the Wild in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity when it launches later this week on the Nintendo Switch. Witness Master Chief's triumphant return to battle and ancient evil bent on vengeance and annihilation. Shipwrecked on a mysterious world faced with new enemies and deadly technology, the universe will never be the same. Halo 4 looks better than ever on PC, including up to 4K Ultra HD at 60 plus frames per second. Other PC native settings include customizable mouse and keyboard support, ultra wide support, FOV customization, and more. An ancient evil awakens and a new saga begins. Shipwrecked on a mysterious world, the Master Chief must unravel the sinister secrets of an ancient alien race to find a way home. But in his search for the truth, the Master Chief discovers that some secrets are better left buried. In multiplayer, continue your Halo adventure with 25 multiplayer maps from the revered Halo 4, featuring an updated armor customization system that allows players to change more armor pieces than ever before, as well as countless ways to play with Forge and Theater. And finally, Spartan Ops. Enlist aboard the UNSC Infinity to experience innovative episodic fiction-based co-op missions that pick up the story where Halo 4's campaign left off. Halo 4 remains one of my favorite first-person shooters of all time, and that will never change. The shooting is tight, the multiplayer is fun, it's got the perfect balance of new innovation with classic Halo gameplay. It is so good, and it really is what I would want Halo Infinite to be. Is that going to be the way things go? Probably not, but we will have to wait and see. And I know that's not a sentiment that is widely shared within the Halo community. Halo 4 is kind of the red-headed stepchild right behind Halo 5, which is basically an exiled outcast for a lot of players. Uh, but ultimately, this was 343's first crack at Halo. It has its faults, but it's still a solid game. Now, it is coming to PC this week. Of course, right now it's out on the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X if you do want to dive in and give it a shot. But for those PC players, dive in because Halo 4 is coming to the Master Chief Collection and it is going to be available on Steam just as the rest of the games are. So now you will have a complete Halo Master Chief Collection. Finally, the Serious Sam Collection puts you in the shoes of the legendary action hero Sam Serious Stone. Experience one of the most explosive shooter game series of all time as you save the world from a merciless alien invasion. Visit the ruins of ancient Egypt and roam through the vivid arenas of South America fighting seemingly never-ending hordes of enemies using an extremely destructive arsenal including shotguns, heavy lasers, rocket launchers, a huge cannon, and an iconic minigun. Tired of playing alone? Go to war against Mental's Horde with up to four players in local co-op, blasting your way through the campaign or the standalone survival mode. Finally, put your skills to the test against other players in a classic multiplayer mode, including deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flag, and more options. 
Serious Sam Collection includes all content from Serious Sam HD The First Encounter, Serious Sam HD The Second Encounter, and Serious Sam 3 BFE, including The Legend of the Beast and Jewel of the Nile expansions. Serious Sam is a very special game. It's basically, in a way, a blend of Duke Nukem and Call of Duty Zombies. You just have these never-ending hordes of people running at you, and it just is a very fun time. It's not going to be super in-depth, and of course, this is essentially the seven-year-old collection that is getting ported to the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, and the Xbox One this week. It's not a full remake, and this is not Serious Sam 4, the new game that launched this year on PC and Stadia. Uh, but hopefully that game will be coming to other platforms soon. In terms of this week, the Serious Sam collection launches on last generation hardware, but of course it will run well on the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Before we go, let's talk about some honorable mentions. First off, Journey to the Savage Planet is coming to the Nintendo Switch, along with Sniper Elite 4 and Human Fall Flat. But on top of that, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate is coming to the Series X, the PS5, the Xbox One, the PS4, the Switch, and the PC, which brings Mortal Kombat 11 back again for another round on the newest generation of hardware bundled together with all of its DLC. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's show, and if you did, drop me a like down below, and let me know what games caught your eye, and if you are picking up anything this week, I would love to hear your thoughts. On top of that, what are you currently playing on? Are you holding on to your current hardware with the PS4 and the Xbox One? Are you upgrading to a new PC, or perhaps you are picking up a new console, or you got one last week? Would love to hear what you are gaming on this season. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon, and peace.